Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Cobblemon for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you need to do here is simply go to your search bar and search up ModRinth, like so. Once you do this, you will see ModRinth.com. Simply click on the name and now go to discover content and go down to mods. Now go to search mods and type in Cobblemon and you'll see Cobblemon by Cobbled Studios. So all you have to do is simply click Cobblemon and then you want to go to versions and now you want to choose 1.6 or 1.5 these are the main ones so for example if we want the latest one we'll just go on 1.6 game version minecraft 1.10.1 and we will be using fabric so it will be platform fabric once you made your choice simply go on the green download button that shows up and click it now we need to check for dependencies and the way we do this is simply by going on the version name for Cobblemon. And the way we do this is simply by clicking this name here. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we will see something called dependencies. As there is Fabric API that needs to be downloaded as well, we, ha we will have to click on Fabric API and go to versions. And now we need to select game versions and 1.1.1 for this example because Cobblemon does not do the latest Minecraft version but it does use 1.1.1. So all you have to do is simply click 1.1.1 and you're only going to have the ones for 1.1.1 that shows up of the Fabric API mod. So all you need to do here is simply click the green download button on any one of these. And now we have Cobblemon and Fabric. So what we can do is get ourselves fabric to actually run the mods and to get fabric you need to open up a new tab go to the search bar and type in fabric minecraft once you did this you should see fabricmc.net click on the link now go on the blue download button and go on download for windows now you should have fabric fabric api and cobblemon so, all you need to do is close your web browser and you need to go on your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Once you see your free items, just double click Fabric Installer. As we're not using the latest micro version, we need to select 1.1.1 for example and then do install. Close everything. And now we can go to the Minecraft launcher. We need to do this, well, to run Minecraft and also to add the mods to the Minecraft folder. So here we have Fabric Loader 1.1.1. All we need to do is go to Installations, hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Now go and find your mods folder, double click it, go to Downloads, select and copy D2 mods. Now go back to your previous folder using the top left arrow and click paste. Now you have two mods in the dot Minecraft mods folder. Now go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure fabric is here and click play. You might have a little warning here just to understand the risks as you're running fabric which is a modified version of Minecraft and now it's going to download all the required folder, files, and items to run Minecraft. Well, 1.1.1, there will also be Cobblemon activated as well on top of this. So let's just wait for everything to download. Alrighty, so once we have Minecraft loading up, we can make it a bit bigger. And here we will have Minecraft 1.1.1 with Cobblemon. And to use Cobblemon, all you have to do is go in single player, create new world, and you can have survival or creative, depends what you want to do. I'll just do creative, 
and then we will be able to load in into cobble mod so let's just wait for that there you go we can see that on the top right we have a little pokeball that shows up so that means we do have some form of cobble mod working and i'm sure if we go around we can see changes in how the game looks meaning that we do have cobble mod active we can also go to our inventory and if we go to page 2, we will have a bunch of Cobblemon related items as well. So yeah, that's how we get Cobblemon to work for Minecraft Java. So yeah. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.